So, hello and welcome back. Uh, this time we're doing our first heap-based challenge. And we have this source code right here given again. Let's make this a little bit smaller, smaller so we can see it better. So we can fit it into on the screen. So as we can see here, we have two structs, one with data and one with a function pointer. And as we can see here, we allocate um, we allocate space for the data struct for one data struct on the heap, and after that, we allocate space on the stack for one file pointer struct. And it looks like we have to overwrite the file pointer to redirect code execution to here. And that's actually what we have to do. So we know uh, that DL malloc gets used under the hood as an algorithm, and that is an a deterministic allocator. So when we allocate data, the following allocated chunk will be the file pointer chunk. And we know that this data is um, 60, 64 um, bytes in size. We know that DL malloc stores um, header information. So let's let's take a look how the heap will look like. So we have data with before that we have header information, but that's unimportant. And then we have the header of the file pointer chunk. It should be eight bytes in size. And after that, we have the file pointer. Because this is a, um, a 32-bit machine, this should be four bytes in size. So with that, I think we got it. Because as we can see here, we, we're using string copy and not uh, the length restricted one. So we can uh, easily overflow uh, the name variable. Um, we just add 8 to 64 and we should end up with uh, 72. And then we write 72 bytes. And after that, we should be able to override the the file, uh, the function pointer. So our payload should look something like that. Print that 72 times and then we need to add our address of the win function in reverse byte ad uh, in, re in reverse byte order. And then we should have it already. So let's find um, let's find the the address of that function.
So, let's take a look. And we have our winner function right here. So let's note that address down. Right here, so we have to provide it right here in reverse byte order. And that should already be it. So let's. Um, of course, I have gotten an X right here again. So let's copy that. Let's see if it runs. Looks like I have escaped something wrong again. But where is the problem? Oh, oh of course. I'm not sure why I have done that right here. Instead, it should be the character A. Let's clear this again. And that looks like it's correct. So if we provi provide our exploit again to the heap zero charge, We can see we have passed the level. Well, thanks for watching again, and yeah, see you next time.